Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. This is my first patron-picked video. Along with my undying gratitude, it's one of the rewards you'll get for supporting me on Patreon. In short, my patrons get to have a say in what I cover in my videos. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So this process is really easy and it doesn't require any special tools. All you need is a 9V battery and a 9V battery connector, a 405 wavelength UV LED light, you'll need two heat shrink connectors, and then I definitely recommend grabbing one of these little helping hand dudes. They're really useful for all kinds of different things, especially for this, but also like mini painting, really really cool to have these. Also you'll need a lighter that isn't about to run out of fluid, but we'll get to that. So first thing, test the LED to make sure that it's good. It's pretty rare for them to be dead, especially right out of the bag, but it is possible, so just test it by connecting it to the leads on the battery, and when it lights up, you know you're good. Next, set up the black wires so that only the exposed wire are touching each other, and slip one of the heat shrink connectors onto one side. So before you put any heat to these connections, you want to make sure that they're set up correctly. So it's a little hard to see inside that connection, but I have the exposed wires overlapping just a little bit inside where that solder is. And then what's going to happen when you put heat to it is that solder is going to melt and become a liquid and it's going to cover those wires, making them one tight connection. And that's why I recommend using one of these soldering stations. It's just, it's really, really helpful. It holds everything in place and it makes this just a lot easier. So you can see here that I'm putting in that same position that I was showing before. And once I get it there, that's when I apply heat to it. And as far as applying heat goes, um, this uh, magnifying glass is giving a weird perspective. It's making it look like I'm putting the, the flame right on it, and that's definitely not what you want to do. So whether you're using a, a lighter like this, or you're using a hairdryer or a heat gun, um, you want to make sure that you're starting off really far away from it, moving up to it slowly, so you can see how quickly it's going to melt. Because you can make this melt too much, and it can get completely ruined. So you can see here I'm running out of fluid, so I ditch it for another lighter. Um, but basically you want to go slow, make sure it's got even heat, and the most important part of this connection is that solder in the center. You want to make sure that that melts down, makes a good connection with the wires, but that's not as important as just taking your time and making sure that the whole thing gets worked evenly. Otherwise, like I said, you run the risk of melting it and then having to start over. So just take your time, get a feel for whatever, you know, heating apparatus you're using. Um, hopefully you're not using something like a flamethrower, but that sounds awesome, so if you do, send me pictures. And then once you have both connections done, you're good to go. You can use this for curing the inside of hollow models, you can use this for doing resin welding, whatever you need it for, this is a really, really useful tool. And then as far as storage goes, all I do is disconnect the housing and turn it so it can't get accidentally connected again, and then I put it away. And that's it, you just made yourself a UV pin light. Real quick, I just want to thank my patrons again for all the support they've given me. Alright, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. Now let's go print something. 